Hey everyone, welcome back. Austin here in our Cook Your Catch kitchen at the Alaska Fish House. And today I have a red sea cucumber that I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cook and clean. This is, uh, it's a, actually a prized uh, and somewhat of a delicacy in Asian countries. And there is a fall dive fishery for it here in Ketchikan. Uh, like I said, most of it goes overseas, but we have one today and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cook it. The first step to the sea cucumber is to remove the front and back. And from there, a lot of the seawater is going to come out as well as the entrails. You can see after removing the front and back that it's almost depleted and the water has come out and you can see the muscle is tightening up back and forth. The next step is I'm going to Cut down the center uh, to open it up and expose that rib meat and get any entrails out that are still inside. Now this animal is really slippery, so it can be challenging to work with. Now you can see rib meat is exposed. There's eight strips inside here. And that's what we're going to remove to cook. So next up, the pliers is actually going to be a useful tool for you. And we want to get, uh, not on the rib meat, but find a piece that you can grab onto to help the process of hanging onto this because it is so slimy. So I have my pliers and I am just finding that angle and pulling at the same time to remove that rib meat. So we have our rib meat and next step is to basically cut it into strips and like I said there's eight strips um, on each and you can if you like follow the lines you can see um, but it doesn't have to be perfect it, again it's it's going to be fried and it's going to taste great so So first step, we're going to season the strips, then we're going to go into the flour. We want to make sure we get them all evenly coated. I'm going to get rid of any residual flour here. We're going to go directly into the oil for no more than 30 seconds. I'm just going to move these around a little bit, make sure they're getting nice and happy in that oil. Just like cooking calamari or fried clam strips. It's a very quick cooking process. Otherwise, they do get a little bit chewy if you overcook them. Get these out of the oil onto a paper towel. Take off any residual oil. And at this point, we can season them one more time. Just a little bit of salt so it adheres to that right after it comes out of the fryer. So a really nice, simple approach to the sea cucumber is just frying the belly, a little bit of traditional cocktail sauce, fresh lemon. The sea cucumbers themselves are very sweet, so it's nice to have a little bit of bite with that tomato and the horseradish in the cocktail sauce. So a little bit of that, lemon, and you're ready to go. So a little bit of lemon on these. I'm going to try with just lemon just so I can tell you a little bit about the flavor by itself. You can see it's super tender, extremely sweet, just like a clam strip. What a wonderful way to celebrate these sea cucumbers. So to see how we prepare and catch other foods from Southeast Alaska, check out exclusivealaska.com.